E, 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 O, D, E, B. I'll do it again. Slow mo. Now you can see I have an arch, my whole little arch here of my arm going to my hand. You know, it's actually clockwise. Clockwise, it's a clockwise rotation here. Because I see I'm going this way, that. Exaggerating. I'm actually hold, not holding down, but I'm spread over all the notes that we just played, all of them. And I'm doing yeah. motion, just subtly. I'm doing a little, like what? Clockwise rotation. You can see me doing that. Just forward. E, D, e, D. Or the C. The C is what I meant. Right, the C is Say lean, less. lean less. You know why there's a lean less? Because he has a lower neighbor going to a resolution note. You remember we talk about arpeggiatura's where you have an upper neighbor falling into a resolution note and you lean less. You know we've done that before, right? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to. Ask. This so time, wait. This time he has a series of notes that also go under the principal notes, and he's leaning on them and resolving them to the note above. That's where I'm getting the, the sense of, I'm, I'm actually recording this because I have to figure out how I'm skewing or um, grouping the notes, correct? So here's how I musically feel about it. I feel like you're going here to the, this is getting more and most, then fall down, lean less, lean less, lean less. Lean less afterthought. Actually, some of these jumps, you know, say lean less, lean less, lean less. Start with, let's see, this is two, three, thumb, two, toddy, most, tita, lean less, see, lean less, see, lean less, see, Lean less time. What you don't want is a lot of finger up and down poking, that's all. You want to avoid, you know, things like this. Right? That makes no sense. Pokes because you're grouping the notes and all you see using your wrist, 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 wrist forward, wrist forward. That's the thing, wrist forward. You see what I'm doing? Wrist forward. It's the way you're using your wrist so you don't use finger up and down pokes. That's the whole thing. Remember at the end, lift. Oh, yeah. Now it boils down to wrist forward motions that sculpt the line. Wrist forward motions, not yet. Here, here, most. Wrist forward, wrist forward, wrist forward, and resolve afterthought. 
Yeah. Okay. That's going to be the whole thing. How you use your wrist. The fact that you were using up and down fingers was creating a, a very vertical sound. Now it is now not vertical anymore. My wrist going forward on the last note. Oligato. If you get these mistakes, you can't just let it go forward. You have to go back and you have to say, what, when did the mistake occur? After you played this E, you had to go over to here and block out your hand so you see what your hand looks like, right? Like this, yes? You know, look for ways that you can correct. Why am I doing that? Two, to this, to that. It's because you're jumping over to here and you can't quite find where you're going. You block it out. So your hand opens up to the block. Resolve. Then I'd go way over here quickly. Light. Make your thumbs light. Okay, so I'm over at the place where it starts. It's forward on the second. These I wouldn't. Second one. Because okay. why are we doing it on the second one? Because the second one tends to get accented. Remember, right. it's lean less through all the pairs. So the less means you get it from what? The wrist going forward. It is the shock absorber. Your hand should be level for the non-legato ones. Donna, stay there. 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 Donna, bum, bum, bum. Yeah. Whenever you go, when you every play slower, you see bigger motions. When you play faster, they're still there, but they're they're less overt motions for sure. Because yeah, da, 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 da. came out of body, but fast. It's still there. You could see it actually there. Anyway, what I want to say is that the biggest thing that's hitting me though, who I, what I'm going to end with today, is that uh, you want to make sure that. When you're tapering different subphrases that you're not making accents at the end, that, that's a big deal for me. So I'm going to show you something because this is important, really in slow mo. Wrist forward, right? Here, wrist forward. So you want those accents and right here. Tip. See, those are little resolutions. Less. Same, same thing. Less. End. Less. Crush. because you're getting little accents in certain places you don't want them. See, uh, April, it comes from harmonic rhythm. So you have to say, what's the harmony under, that's underlying these, these broken chords? It's telling you now you have to resolve. Yeah. So you have to keep looking at the harmonies, you know, and, and see why they're smacking down. Here's another place where it goes to be less, right? Say resolve. Each time you have the dominant resolve or a diminished resolve, don't fall down on the end of it. It's usually an eighth note that gets poked. Comes from the sixteenth to the what? Resolution eighth. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Right. Da, da, less. Da, da, less. That's where that wrist forward helps you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You might want to be your own coach outside of yourself as you're playing and say less. <laughs> <laughs>